Approved Home Pros, connecting you to today's trends, easy upgrades, and the tips, advice, and answers you need for your home, featuring trusted local experts and San Diego's best home pros, guaranteed. Now, Approved Home Pros. Welcome to Approved Home Pros, San Diego's resource for everything home improvement. I'm Jordan Frazier. And I'm Sean Johnson. Sean, we have had a wonderful 2019. This is our last show for the year. Thank you to everyone for sticking with us, learning about San Diego home improvement. It's been so fun to go behind the scenes, share these projects and these pros and all of this great information with all of our viewers. Yeah, it's been a great year. We've had so many opportunities to talk to so many great pros. But 2020, what's on tap for, for the coming year? Even more. Our network, as it continues to grow, we're going to continue bringing more diversity onto the show, different types of trades, different types of home improvements. Of course, you can always check Check in with us on Saturday mornings for our news segments. Sometimes those are on Sundays as well, so keep an eye out for specialties there. And also more ways, I think, for people to be able to interact with us digitally online. Absolutely. But right now, it's time to check in with Night Security for this week's Safe at Home. This is Safe at Home, some insights into home security. And one area that is critical is to plan ahead. Have a plan. Once you have your home security system installed, you want to talk to the entire family. So in case of a fire activation, the kids know where to go and how to proceed. Do you want them to come to you, which is probably the best plan. And also that you have an understanding. Should your alarm activate at two o'clock in the morning, if you don't plan, I guarantee you, you'll get out of bed and turn off the alarm, which is a big mistake. Let the alarm do its job. Let it hopefully frighten a burglar away while you get your glasses, turn the lights on, see what the keypad tells you so you know what exactly is taking place. Have a plan. If you arrive home with the groceries and the kids in the afternoon and the alarm is activated, do not go into the home. Again, back out, call on your phone, let us tell you what's going on, and this is going to really protect you and your family. So if you have a question on this or any other topic, let me know at 619-797 6603 and be safe at home. One of the best ways to make your artificial turf look realistic is to incorporate it into a comprehensive landscape plan. Sergio from Dream Gardens is here to talk about that and how you can achieve that really great unified look in the yard. Sergio, I've lived with artificial turf and I've lived with it a couple of different ways. One was just a plot of turf and the other one was really incorporated into my yard. Such a huge difference. Is that what you see as a huge difference? Yes, uh, I think the key is try to be creative and try to find what's the best solution for that particular project. So it's, it's just about that. So you have uh, an approach that I think allows you to do that where some companies just come in, want to sell turf. They're a turf company and that's the extent of what they do. And I find those companies just are going to end up with the biggest square footage of turf that they're going to be able to, to sell to you. Whereas you're coming in from a, a really more of a consultative approach to to, to find a solution, really. Th that's correct. When we go into a house, our main objective and our main philosophy is try to find what's the best for the customer, not try to push a particular product or a certain amount of turf for that project. We need to work with them, we need to understand what they need, and, and based on that, make the best suggestions for the customer. Based on lifestyle and some of their goals, is it water savings, is it, you know, what is that goal? Many conditions, many conditions, like if they have pets, uh, what's their, their budget, what's the use, what's the lifestyle, many things that play into consideration. So a lot of questions need to be an, uh, asked, I'm sure, in that process. What are some of the other elements besides turf that can be incorporated into the yard? Well, there are many. Uh, probably the most popular are ground cover. Rocks are very popular, river rocks, uh, beach pebbles. There are different types of rocks, boulders. Boulders are, uh, boulders are big. Uh, plants, uh, drought tolerant plants, uh, that's, that play always a big part pavers as well, some retaining elements. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, with the plants, I want to stop down on that for a little bit because people think drought tolerant plants, they're going to give up color, but there's some very colorful drought tolerant plants out there. Completely, yeah. There's a lot of uh, very nice looking full color uh, succulents that look great on, on many projects. And, and also, you don't have to have just a drought tolerant landscape. You can have, if you want a tropical look, you can have that and incorporate turf into that if you're looking at low maintenance or something along those lines. Of course, yeah. Uh, smart irrigation system, they're not very expensive and they play a big part and they help you save money and water your plants. Yeah, that's why we recommend you so highly. Thank you. Let Dream Gardens give you the landscaping and turf that you need to make your property shine. Call them at 619-500-7370 or find them at ApprovedHomePros.com today. Do you ever 
wonder how windows get made? Connor Lusheen from Ameristar Windows and Doors is here to share the process with us and give us a peek into Ameristar's Southern California factory. Thanks so much for coming in today. Thanks for having me, Jordan. This was really cool getting to tour the factory and see how windows get made. Why don't you break down the process for everybody? There's actually two parts of the line. The one is the glass line and one is the component line. The glass line starts out with getting the data into the computers and to the hand cutter so we can get the glass properly cut and make sure that it's the right glass, the low E glass that goes down the line. That gets down into a sandwich so that it gets cleaned first in a washer and then it has a spacer that gets put in and it gets to an oven that gets baked. After that, we leave a little space to put the argon gas in, which makes layers of, of argon gas, which is heavier than air, and it makes it insulation. So that's part of the energy efficiency factors. Very much so, very important with the window. That gets pulled down the end of the line, where on the other end, where the components come, where it's the windows and the doors, all the frames, all the sausage, all come down together, and then it gets glazed to make the complete unit. And it gets put together, and you have this beautiful final product window. I was so amazed at how much was machine driven, but also how much was done still by hand. It is, we have a lot of multi-million dollar machines out there that can do all kinds of things, but we found out at the end of the day, the human touch is really important. We have a lot of pride in what we do in our work. The welds have to be super clean, and sometimes these machines just don't have that certain touch. So there's some things and some components that we do that we still do by hand. Which, they, they, even everyone in the factory takes so much pride in their work. You say that's the company, of course, but I could see it in talking to each rep in the factory as they were doing their specific jobs. They really want to make sure that those windows are clean, beautiful, perfectly sized and fit. And that goes all the way from when you're in the field measuring the windows so that you know what to create. You said the data goes into the computer in the beginning. It's full cycle with Ameristar. It is, it's all in-house. So we have installers, we have technicians, we have measures, we have salespeople, we have the we have the factory. And the synergy around that is what produces the quality that we have. And the people take so much pride, it's like they're little babies, they go out into the world, but they love it. They almost want to sign them, but it, it, it is such a prideful, and I'm just humbled and, and very um, thankful and, and honored to, to work with these people. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. We really appreciate the opportunity to tour the factory as well. Learn more about how windows get made and upgrade your windows with Ameristar today. Give them a call at 760-269-8616. You can find them and other top pros at ApprovedHomePros.com. It's time to ask an expert, where we answer everyday questions to help you better understand your home and the home improvement industry. Today as normal, I'm with Greg Cantor, our resident expert from Murray Lampert Design Builder Model, and we get to have Richard Mates from Night Security on with us today. Gentlemen, today we're talking about an important subject, which is remodeling and security as it relates to a remodel job. Greg, how important of a topic is this? It's very important. I mean, it's important to keep a house secure and the belongings secure and the people safe. Because uh, a remodel is a target for certain certain criminals, correct? Oh, absolutely. There's new product being brought on. There's there's construction tools and coordination between the remodeler and your security company is vital. Because uh, you know, think about it. The walls are open in some cases. You know, it's, it's an easy th thing for a, a crime of opportunity to take place. Exactly. Or even just simple vandalism in some cases. But it's also a great time to put in a security system while things are open. That is that is true. That's an extra advantage. Uh, you two work together, your companies work together on many projects to help keep your customers safe, Greg. Uh, can you guys think of a specific type of, of job that is, is normal to, and, and what you do on those kind of jobs? To, well, we to do a lot of whole homes, and so we, I've worked with Richard on projects where we've put new doors and windows in, the walls are all open, and Richard comes in at the right time when things are open and installs a system. I mean, it has to be pre-wired first. Now, what do you do to protect the home in those cases when, when, to, during, during the remodeling process? Well, that's a, it's the most difficult time for sure, but we, you know, we try to take the part of the home that can still be secured and lock it up. We may even wire internal doors to segregate it from the remodeled part so we give a protected area for the family and for the remodeler to store valuables like appliances. Because a lot of times the homeowner is still living in the home while half of, it's op half of it's open. And when we're in the middle of construction, we'll board off openings with plywood and do the best we can to keep the home secure. So one of the key things it sounds like to me is being aware of the security aspect going into the remodel and having it be a, a conscious part of the process. Am I right Absolutely. about that? Absolutely. Yeah. The coordination between the remodeler and the different subs like the alarm company is vital. Is that something that lesser companies, the chuck and the trucks, are going to think about, or do you see security as a, as a lapsing area sometimes? In, in I, I definitely think so because we put lock boxes, we use security fences, we make sure that homes are buttoned up during construction. Yeah, lesser companies aren't going to think about those things. You, the, the true pros, like you guys, always do. Thank you so much. If you have questions for our experts or want to see more information on previous questions, visit approvedhomepros.com in our Ask an Expert section. Only Approved Home Pros gives you the expert advantage you need when navigating the world of home improvement. 
Our network is a team of the most trusted and highly respected local home improvement experts. Expert reviews, advice, and answers have given thousands of homeowners like you the confidence that comes from having a team of professionals behind you. Like a friend in the business, we're here to protect your home and family by making it easy to find and connect with San Diego's best pros at ApprovedHomePros.com. We're here again at More Furniture for Less. And we're talking today, Jordan, about the delivery. I know you've had furniture delivered from, from more. I've had furniture delivered from more, more times than I can count. Of course we have, because if we're really telling the truth, most of the furniture in both of our homes comes from more furniture for less. One of my favorite stores in San Diego. I just love the welcoming environment. But there's so much that goes on with the more furniture experience, even after you've left the beautiful showroom. Yeah, the, the delivery experience has been one of the best parts, actually, of, of, of more. And you wouldn't think delivery is just delivery, but it's really more than that. Beca more than that. <laughs> <laughs> They uh, they deliver and, and it's prompt. You know, I've, I've got a next day of what I've needed yeah. before. And the one time, it's usually when things go wrong, you can tell the metal of a company. They were going to be a few minutes late, just a few minutes. But they called me, literally just to tell me they were going to be a few minutes late. And just that little bit just set, spoke volumes to me about the way they communicate and the way they care about the customer. Absolutely, because you're saying just a few minutes late, which means you were given a time. You were not given this very large whole day window of, oh, your furniture will come sometime on this right, day. Right. When you make the purchase and they work with you on scheduling, they tell you what time your furniture, what time to expect your furniture. And then they communicate with you the whole way through, which is so great. The delivery people are just as friendly as everyone in the store, so nice. just as helpful because they put together my whole couch. Not only do they bring it inside, <laughs> they assemble for you yeah they do and they, for me um, they they I got a, a new bedroom set they took apart the they didn't, we had to take apart the old one we did that for them so I didn't want to stick them with it they probably would have but uh, <laughs> they took the old mattress from us and I think I, I believe they donate that I'm not 100% sure but they that service I, cause I didn't know what to do with the old mattress I don't have a truck to take care of it they took care of it for me and it's surprisingly hard in real life to get rid of a mattress that you aren't trying to oh, use because yeah. you can't just throw them in the garbage uh, so it's great that there's a service um, you know if you're replacing your bedroom set or replacing your mattress which of course more also has mattresses which is so often overlooked oh yeah they have a great mattress selection there. The mattress department is wonderful. I've almost fallen asleep on many of the mattresses back there trying to make the selection. But and the other part of it is the people that deliver, the staff, are just friendly. They're nice people. I've had people deliver things before from other companies that are just like, uh, they don't want to, you know, interact with you at all. They're friendly, nice people. They're just like everybody else at more. Absolutely. And they want it, they care really where the furniture is going in your home. They want to help get it exactly where it is so that you don't have to do any of the work. Did they give you interior design advice? <laughs> Maybe a little, you know, they recommended which wall to put the couch on, which I really appreciate. But no matter what you're shopping for at more, when you have it delivered, which is always available for you, you are going to have a seamless experience from start to finish. Visit one of Moore's four showrooms around San Diego today. Hi, this is Caesar from Howard & Sons Roofing. And today's quick tip of the day is don't wait until it's raining before you call that roofing contractor. Give us a call early. That way we can get you in the schedule and get your roof repaired. Make the most of your outdoor space with a beautiful deck. Dave Frazier from Frazier Decks and Patio Covers is here with some inspiration and some inspirational decks. I'm glad to have you on today. Thank you very much. Now, I'm going to brag on you a little bit because I know you're hesitant to brag on yourself. These are some brochures from some of the manufacturers that respect you and your deck so much. They've used your decks as their primary images in their brochures to show off what's capable of uh, with their materials. Yep, that's right. That's a great honor, great honor. Let's jump right into some projects, some individual projects, and look at some photographs of these jobs. The first job we're looking at, to me, it's a curved deck. What are we looking at here? So this is a Trex Transcend deck uh, that we did a curved edge. Now there's a couple different types of curved edges, and we'll look at a different one on the next pictures. But this picture is one where we use a fascia board to actually create the curve. So we cut the deck, and then we put a fascia board to wrap the edge. And, and we're looking at the, uh, the uh, railings here as well. So the railings, uh, yes. what kind now of railings? Yes, this is a, a cable railing, which is very popular right now. And most of our projects do use cable railings. Um, they are basically transparent. You can see right through them. So if you have a nice view, they're awesome. Yeah, it doesn't take away any of you. Here we're looking up at the same project? Yes, so this one you can see the actual fascia board on the outside edge that is covering up the cut edges of the boards. So that little detail makes it look so much nicer in, Correct. in terms of the, uh, the view. Here's another project we're looking at, also looking up. What project is this? Now this is an AZEC, which is another brand, AZEC deck, but this one we actually curved the boards. So we used a heat bender to actually heat up the boards and actually bend them around the edge. So this is a little higher end version of that curved kind of decking. 
Okay, and we see we see a couple of different uh, views of this. I can see this curved one here with the railing. That's that's great. And the way the view this also shows that cable railing how the view is. Yes, preserved. and we were actually able to curve the cable railing itself as well. So we followed the curve for the deck and the railing. Now, these are special decks and special homes with special views. Uh, is, is this the same same job or a different job? This is here? a different job. Now, what's special about this? This is also an ASEC project with a cable railing but this is the first deck in uh, Southern California to have helical piles. Uh, and what that is, is basically a corkscrew drilling into the ground instead of concrete footings. And it goes down until it hits bedrock. It's much more secure and it's much less expensive. And, and very stable, so that deck is gonna be stable. We've got so many other things we could look at, but we're running out of time. I'm just gonna say your decks are the most beautiful things I've ever seen. If somebody wants Thank a you deck, so you're much. the only person in San Diego to call for that kind of level of a deck. Let Fraser help transform your existing deck or build a brand new one to make the most of your outdoor space. Learn more at ApprovedHomePros.com. When little things go wrong around the house, how do you know when it's time to call the handyman? So I'm here today with Bill Cohn from Mr. Handyman, where we're actually at a homeowner's house because there are some jobs going on as we speak. Why don't we talk about how, how Bill, the homeowner, knew that it was time to call? Well, first of all, he saw us on Approved Home Pros and, and saw uh, you know what kind of work we do, thought we were a, uh, a reputable company and felt like he could trust us having, in his, having us in his home and that we would do a good job for him. So he's got a list of about five or six things that we're just kind of building up over time. They're all relatively small, easy to take care of things. So probably was not uh, efficient to, to just bring us out for one thing at a time. So he, he bundled his work together and within a few hours, we're gonna be able to knock out you know, this laundry list of things that have been, you know, probably gnawing on him and his wife for a period of time. Is that something that you recommend our homeowners do, you know, de looking at the size of the different projects that are going on in your house and bundling those smaller ones together? Certainly. That's, that's really, I think, the best way to use us. Um, people have single projects that are really, they really need to get taken care of at that time, so call us for that. But also call us for, you know, the smaller jobs, as you know, everybody in their house has, yeah. you know, I've got a hundred things probably that need to be done in my house. And you just knock those off, you know, a few hours at a time or a day of work, a half day of work is a great way to use this. We can get a lot of work done in that short period of time. And it's really cost effective. So it's a, it's a great savings for the homeowner to kind of bundle them together instead of the one off for every small project. What are some great examples of what they're doing today at this house that is that would fall under these small project ranges? So uh, today uh, we had a couple of doors that were hard to open sticking. Uh, we had uh, a uh, baseboard along an island that was just had been kicked out and needed to be reattached. We had some holes from blinds that had been changed out and we just patched those holes. We're going to paint and, and uh, retexture those. Had a, a little water leak that needed a wall patch and we're recocking a couple of tubs. Knock out all those things in what we estimated to be about four hours worth of work. Four hours, the perfect transition into the incredible offer that Mr. Handyman has for you right now. If you have a job of four hours, you will get $50 off of that service. So right. go ahead and find Mr. Handyman at ApprovedHomePros.com. When you have a security system, one of the key things to be mindful of is false alarms. So today, Richard Mace from Night Security is here how to explain how they happen and what you can do about it. So thanks for coming in today. Absolutely. Let's start with the definition. What is a false alarm? Okay. In today's world, a false alarm is when the police are sent when they aren't needed. Wow. Everybody accidentally sets off their alarm. It's understood. It's expected. But homeowners and business owners need to follow the procedure of calling their alarm company and canceling the dispatch of the police. So let's walk through that procedure because when the alarm goes off, that's not necessarily where the false alarm comes into play. The procedure is what? The alarm goes off. It goes directly to the alarm company. Now, there are preset instructions that the alarm company has to follow of calling the home, calling maybe a cell number, and getting a passcode so we can cancel the dispatch of the police. In the instance that it was, in fact, not meant to go off. Exactly, a mistake, and everybody does that. Everybody does. So it's really based on user error, uh, but making sure that the system itself is set up and that your procedures are in place to actually go with your lifestyle and to make sense. Because so important. what happens if you don't tell the alarm company to cancel the police dispatch? Well, unfortunately, what happens is the alarm company receives a signal. 
They call the home, no one answers. They call a cell phone, we get a person on the phone who doesn't know the procedure or the passcode, and we're in the position of having to send the authorities because we don't know who they are. That counts right. against them as a false alarm, and it's totally preventable by setting up a simple and easy passcode procedure with your alarm company. Absolutely, so it's very preventable. Uh, let's say people are still making this mistake and false alarms are being called. What are the consequences? Well, the San Diego Police Department and other jurisdictions do have false alarm charges because they charge to send their police officers out. Wow. And you can get a bill from the city and these are totally preventable. Totally preventable. Yeah. You also have to have a permit to yeah. get your security system up and running. Exactly, most cities now have a permit procedure of some type and the alarm company is responsible to get you the proper application to get it filled out so it's all set up before you start using your alarm. Yes, and of course Night Security does that. They did yeah. that for me when they set up my alarm system. So get peace of mind for you and your family that you will be safe when you have Night Security securing your home. Call 619-797-6603 to get started today. That's 619-797-6603. No one wants to find pests in their home, but knowing what you might face can help you prevent it. Here to walk us through some common pests and prevention methods is Sue Fries, the termite lady from Ecola Termite and Pest Control. Sue, glad to be with you today. I'm so thankful to be here. So what are some of the pests that we're facing in San Diego right now? What's common out there? The common is ants, of course, they've been around forever, mm -hmm. but the new ones that we're seeing more of would be spiders and mosquitoes, but spiders. Yeah, I've seen both at my house, but especially the mosquitoes where I live. Yes. You're, you're seeing that all over the county, all over Southern California? Especially if you have water around you, they're, they're really becoming prevalent. And we have to be careful about the mosquito situation. Yeah. But spiders is something that we've always had, but they seem to be, there's more of them. More of them right now. Yes. Interesting, interesting. Uh, what kind of prevention can somebody do at home to reduce the chances of an infestation? The biggest one that comes to mind right now is dewebbing, and that just means you should have an inside and an outside uh, broom with a, a, a head on it, and you just knock down the webs. And when you knock down the webs, the spider has to recreate that web, and so they get tired of doing that. It's amazing if you've ever seen them build their web. It's, it's an amazing uh, thing. I just love watching it. But it, uh, if you just knock that down, you're going to have less of a population. Well, I'll take that advice. I'll try not to think of Charlotte's web as I'm doing it, but I'll take, I'll take yes, the advice. Yes. Um, what about the DIY treatment methods that people sometimes try? Do, are those effective at all? Do it yourself first. Yes, they do work, but for a very short period of time, like the ultrasonic that you stick mm -hmm. in your electric socket. Uh, they work for about three days, and then you have the problem again because they become tolerant to the noise and, and just that obstacle there. And so the best thing to do is just to call the professional to come and take care of it because it has a residual and that's the best thing to do. Yeah, I faced that exact thing with the, we, we bought one of those DIY, the, the sonic things, and it did last for about two or three days, you're yes. right. So the, the advice is call in the expert, you have the tools, you have the knowledge, and, and the expertise to be able to handle it. Absolutely. The do-it-yourselfers, they put too much product on most of the time. They think a little bit is good, a lot will be better, and it's really not. And, and you know the right methods and the, and the right formulas. And the right quantities, yes. So if you have any kind of a problem, any kind of an infestation, let the experts at Ecola help you take care of it quickly and effectively. Call Ecola today at 619-365-9030 or find them at approvedhomepros.com slash Ecola. In San Diego, there are many homes built with a crawl space, making basement con conversions a cost-effective way to add living space or a companion unit ADU. An important cost consideration is the amount of dirt removal that's required and whether the floor should be slab or raised wood joist. When adding a bathroom or kitchen, getting proper fall on the sewer line is required. Raised floor construction provides more flexibility for plumbing and allows space for running heater ducting if necessary. For single family homes, fire code permits typical drywall. On companion units, one hour fire rating and sound attenuation may be required. Another important condition to consider in basements is moisture and humidity. That's why foundation walls should always be waterproofed with drainage underneath. I also recommend installing fans with humidistats so there's enough air exchanges to prevent mold or mildew from growing. For more remodeling tips, visit approvedhomepros.com slash Cantor's Corner. There are a lot of ways your garage floor coating can be installed, but there's really only one right way, which is exactly why I'm on the job today with Paul from Perkins Custom Coatings, talking all about why Perkins is different from the competition and how homeowners are really gonna see value in that. So thanks for having me today. It's great to be here. What is it about this home that we're at today that's a perfect example of the work that Perkins does? Well, in this particular home, it's just a few years old, but um, it had 
enough um, grease and oil and things that had spilled on the floor that uh, it was very important that we grind the floor as part of our surface prep. We take the whole process of putting down a floor coating very seriously from prep to the highest quality materials and to the right thicknesses on the floor to make sure that that we're going to deliver a finished product that's going to last for decades. Of course, that's why you're part of the Approved Home Pros Network. We love that you take everything very seriously. But back to the surface prep, that's also important for the warranty that the homeowner is going to receive. Yeah, that's very important. If you don't grind a floor at a minimum, you're not going to receive the full manufacturer's warranty. And uh, of course, a, a warranty from an installer like us is very important since we've been doing this for so long. Obviously, it's more valuable than with a company that has only been in the business for a few years. This is my 12th year, 12 years, and we've done over 8,000 floors. Wow. But the manufacturer's warranty is also very important, and you, don't, you won't get that full warranty if you don't do it the right way. And I, I find that homeowners often use warranties as, you know, comparing two bids from different companies. The warranty might be what sets one bid apart from the other, so it's very important to know that you're going to actually get the warranty. The work is going to be done up to par. Right, and, and price is always important. And as you might imagine, if you skip a step in the process, your price might be a little lower. And as I point, try to point out to folks I talk to, lowest price doesn't necessarily mean the best product and, less, and the best uh, finished product for your, for your home. With so many pro uh, products out there that can be used to coat the garage floors, you really will walk homeowners through which products might be right for them. We do sell the uh, traditional epoxy uh, finish, but we also uh, sell a much better material. It's a polyaspartic. Uh, the brand name is Spartaflex, and we love selling this material. It performs well. It has a great manufacturer's warranty, and, and I've been uh, very happy selling it for the last 12 years. And of course, the crews always show up to the job ready for any situation that might present itself today. We've got some very skilled and highly passionate employees. They take a lot of pride in what they're doing. They do a great job. And we have a fully equipped truck that has grinders, vacuums, masking materials, all the tools that are necessary to do the job right, the right way. Thanks so much, Paul. If you're getting a garage floor coating, you want it to be done the right way, which is why you want Perkins Custom Coatings. Find them today on ApprovedHomePros.com. Be safe, be sure, be confident about the home improvement companies you work with with the Approved Home Pros Guarantee. Only Approved Home Pros guarantees you will be satisfied with your home improvement, repair, or service, or will step in to help make it right. If you need help, our team of experts is behind you every step of the way when you use a pro in the Approved Home Pros Network. Move forward with confidence knowing you're never in this alone. Find a pro today at ApprovedHomePros.com. It's guaranteed. Thank you to all our experts who are on the show today, but also all year long as we wrap up the last show of the year. Yeah, last show, last, last of the year. Uh, but I want to remind everybody that in, now and in the future in the coming year, the way to use us is just to go on to ApprovedHomePros.com if you're going to do any maintenance or upgrade and find who we recommend because you're going to have a safe, free experience that is going to be able to give you the best pros that you can possibly have. Absolutely, and if you can't find what you're looking for on the website, we're also happy to answer questions. You can connect with us on our social channels. We're on Facebook and Instagram at uh, Approved Home Pros, on Twitter at Approved Home Pro. You can always reach out, ask questions. You can submit questions through the website. We are here to go do some legwork for you, and of course, it's always free. And an old-fashioned way to call us. You can pick up the phone also called 855-840-APRO. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you for joining the Approved Home Pro Show. To connect with the show or find the very best home improvement companies in San Diego, log on to ApprovedHomePros.com or call 855-840-APRO. See you soon.